As the same, the reef is magnificent. It is. Fantastic. Really well, what good. does he say? Uh, Hulya Turkoko, which is, Hulya has a name and Turkoko is Turkish too. I'm going to Istanbul tomorrow, uh, tonight. Oh, are you? At 4 o'clock in the morning we are there. Um, right up until uh, January 1916 when the, the uh, peninsula was evacuated and uh, people came from all over the world um, to fight in Gallipoli and of course the, the reason uh, and we honour his statement, uh, Kemal Ataturk said that those that fell are still part of the Turkish community we took that view, they are our people. And so for that reason, we're very pleased that the Turkish community in this area, on both sides of the border, are going to be represented at our little ceremony here today. I am delighted to, to that it's not that often that the two, Rushmore and, and um, Surrey Heath, get together, but it's such an important day, and it's great that um, the, the mayors of two of the authorities are here today. And so to get us going uh, and start in the proper way, I'm going to ask Reverend John Vincent to say a few words to start the proceedings. We meet this morning to remember those who in the tragedy of war gave their lives in service of their country and those who died for the freedom of all people. Today we call to mind especially those who found rest on the ridges of Gallipoli, as we remember their selfless commitment and sacrifice, may we be inspired to work for harmony and reconciliation, that humanity may continue to shine and that peace may reign throughout the world. Let us pray. Lord of love, we bring our thanks for the peace and security we enjoy. We remember those who in times of war sacrifice so much. Make us a people who are desperate for peace and hurry the day when people do not lift sword against one another. We pray this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, who gave his life for the world. Amen. And let us remember before God and commend to his sure keeping those who have died for their country in conflicts past and present, all whom we knew and whose memories we treasure, and all who have lived and died in the service of mankind. Thank you. And now we move on to the wreath laying, and I ask the Mayor of Surrey Heath, Councillor Bob Patton, to lay the first wreath on behalf of the Borough of Surrey Heath. Now the Mayor of Rushmore, Councillor Diane Bedford, on behalf of the Borough of Rushmore. And this would, this would have to be a time to remember the names of the men who gave their lives from this area. So 
I'd ask Ca County Councillor David Iverson to read the names of the fallen from Surrey Heath. Thank you, Murray. Most of the names I will read out here are already inscribed on this memorial. There are about a dozen or so who gave their life from this area. And they are Captain William and Atkinson, Private Frederick Bedbrook, the name is there, Lieutenant Colonel Franklin Gillespie, Sergeant Arthur Rush, Captain Arthur Talbot, Captain Usher, and Captain Gareth Walford, Victoria Cross. Thank you, David. I'd like um, uh, Councillor Diane Bed Bedford now to read the names of the fallen from Rushmore. This is uh, Rushmore's Gallipoli fallen. Uh, I'm very proud to be able to do this. I don't know their positions. I don't know they were just men who died for us. And the names are some lovely names here. It's Bertram Bickerstaff, Arthur Brown, James Byrne, William Connolly, Harry Cooper, George Cripps, William Godsell, Patrick O'Donnell, Charles Osgood, Lancelot Pierce, Bob Reynolds, Charles Shanks, Edmund Watts, Bill George, Harry Woodson, Albert Griffiths, John Kimball, William Marlowe, George Martin, James Murphy and Charles Oakham. Thank you. I'm going to now ask a representative from the Turkish community to say a few words about the, about the sacrifice that thousands of Turkish people made on the Good morning. I extend a warm welcome to all ladies and gentlemen and friends. Today is a very important anniversary. As important to Turkish nationals as Anzac Day is to British and countless many more countries around the world. Hundred years ago, Turkey repulsed the British and French fleet at Çanakkale, decisively ending their attempts to force the trade. Four days later, the fateful decision was made to commit the amphibious landings at Gallipoli. This place stands both symbolically and in reality for the separation between East and West. But this place, which was for so long a barrier, is today a bridge. It is the bridge between Europe and Asia Minor, the bridge between East and West. And indeed, it is the bridge over which our respective people made their way to nationhood. I believe that this bridge also replicates that no matter where we come from, or we look like, or no matter what character we have inside ourselves, we are all the same. We all have a precious life that we find hard to give away, and giving that precious life for the help of a nation, whilst leaving friends and family that form a big part of your heart to weep, and makes you the bravest person of all. Of course, we cannot give our life away at this moment. We can reflect on the determination, resilience and courage of these soldiers and see how we can link this to our lives. We can start by picking up rubbish from the floor or waste less food. This may be so little compared to what all the soldiers have done, but the, I guarantee you, if we all did our own part for this world, we will thrive to live in a better community. I think that the main reason for me to notice the importance of the dead heroes was by a uh, trip to Turkey. One of the most stunning parts of the trip was when I saw the French and many other foreign burials. As attitude must rightly said, soldiers that die on our land is now our sons as well. Another phrase I love about attitude was when he demanded the soldiers to die rather than to live, when they ran out of bullets and had nothing to fight for. It really demonstrates the soldiers' determination and obedience to save the country and the world. So I hope the best uh, for all of you in this uh, ceremony. Thank you. Mm, now I'd like um, Mr. Jimmy Gardner from the Royal British Legion in Surrey Heath to either play the wreath on behalf of the Royal British Legion.
but like the, the Turkish community to lay their wreaths. I'm going to ask the representatives of the Turkish community to carry out the traditional lowering the flags in honour of the people of the border. They'd like to come forward. Um, this is the war made the decision by politicians who suffer from the ordinary people like us. They serve their country. They deserve highest pride. They are the noble of the noblest and they appreciate that we give them a we, we have to remember them I want you to make one minute silence for their memory who lost their life they are all heroes regardless of their nation or all that because they serve their country I want you to do one minute silence please Thank you all. Thank you very much. Uh, we would like to take a picture all of you. Sure. And in conclusion, I, I would ask uh, Reverend John Vincent just to say a few words. conclude our service with a blessing. Let us pray. Go forth into the world in peace. Be of good courage. Hold fast to that which is good. Render to no one evil for evil. Strengthen the faint-hearted. Support the weak. Help the afflicted. Honour all. Love and serve the Lord, rejoicing in the power of the Holy Spirit and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be on you, those who you love, and all those who we remember this day, now and forever. Amen. Thank you very much. Just a, just a, a reminder that <coughs> the recognition of Gallipoli continues at the Camberley Theatre. So I look forward to seeing as many of you as can make, as make it. Thank you very much.